Hey guys, this is Coach Doten, and we've got the Algebra 1 Star retake coming up in a week on December 8th. And so I wanted to show you some tips and tricks on how to uh, use the Inspire calculator to help you through the exam. This exam is only one small piece of your education. Unfortunately, the reality is the state says you have to pass this to graduate. So we want you to be able to get past this, not worry about it, not stress about it anymore. So I'm going to show you some ways that you can use the calculator to help you get through the test a little bit more efficiently and feel a little bit more comfortable with uh, some of the solutions. So the first thing I'm going to cover in this video is InSolve. Now what InSolve is, is a numerical solving tool that enables you to actually solve equations. So look at number three. This exam, all of the examples I'm going to pull in these videos are coming from the actual 2019 released STAR test for Algebra 1. So this is the actual exam that the students took in 2019 for Algebra 1 STAR. So this is an actual exam. So number three says, which value of x makes this equation true? Well, what that means is, what is x if we were to solve this equation? What, would, what value would we get for x? So... I'm going to show you how to use InSolve to solve this. On your calculator, first of all, if you hit the menu button on the side, all of you have this software installed on your device, every one of you. If you hit the Start button and you come back down to TI Inspire, you will actually see that it says TI Inspire, and you can actually open it up on your student laptop, on your student device. So if I open this up, you can see here that I have Inspire, Inspire Premium, but I have all these options. You can open it up so that you actually get the screen that you, that you see right here that I have. So you can practice at home without having the actual calculator. So anyway, let's do number three. So everything I'm gonna be doing, by the way, will be highlighted. All my keystrokes you will see in red over here as I'm going, if, if you're curious where any of the keys are in the calculator. A good thing for this is to actually get familiar with the calculator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click New. I'm going to start a new document, and I'm going to add a calculator because I'm calculating. I'm going to get a value. Once you're in the, the calculator page and you've got a new document, you're going to hit Menu. Now on this menu, you'll see a lot of things that are going to be available to you. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose Algebra. Now Algebra is going to give you this option called Numerical Solve. That is called N-Solve. So you're going to get this N-Solve prompt right here. What we're going to do now is we're going to tell InSolve what equation we want it to solve and what variable we want to solve for. So over here, let's look back at number three. What's our equation? 1.25 times 4x minus 10 equals 7.5. So I'm literally going to enter that into my InSolve. And you can see all of my keystrokes over here. So there's the parentheses for x, you can see the x, y, and z keys are all here at the bottom, minus 10, parentheses, equals 7.5. So I've successfully entered my equation, make sure you have everything correct, into the end solver. Next thing I have to do is tell end solve what I want to solve for. So I'm going to put a comma, and you can see the comma key is right down here. I'm going to put a comma, and I'm going to tell it I want to solve for x and then I'm going to close the parentheses. I'm going to hit enter and it's going to solve for me. X is 4. There's your answer. So that's how you can use InSolve. I'm going to do one more example on this test using InSolve. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. You guys should be used to this with all the TikToking and Instagramming and tw tweeting you guys do with scrolling. So hopefully I'm not making you too dizzy. Let's scroll down to number 42. Here's another one. This is an actual free response answer, so you don't have the option of doing a multiple choice. So let's use InSolve for this one. It doesn't matter what the variable is, guys. It could be M, it could be X, it could be J, it could be K. Whatever it is, it's just a placeholder. It doesn't have to be X. So I'm going to go to my menu, and I'm going to go to Algebra again and do Numerical Solve. Now, when you enter this in, you can use any letter you want. Any letter you want. I always use X for my variables when I go into InSolve. You can or you can use M, whatever variable you want. So, negative parentheses. I'm going to enter it exactly as I see it here. 6M 
plus 8 parentheses equals 4 parentheses 17 minus m close parentheses. Look over your equation, make sure you have it set. Now I need to tell in solve what I want to solve for. I want it to solve for m. So I'm going to hit comma and tell it to solve for m. And when I hit enter, I get negative 38. There's your answer. So this is how you use in solve. You can use it for any linear type equation. Quadratics where you have something squared, there's a different way to solve it that I'll show you in a different video solving for roots because in solve is one dimensional and it doesn't necessarily solve it for all of the roots that you need. So this is how you use in solve to solve any equations or any linear equations that come up. So hopefully this helps you out.